Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all of you. Today, we are going to look at page 36 in your postal textbook. The title is called In the News. We will be doing these four things today. First, we'll be reading three news reports and um, we'll complete three exercises. Exercise one and two is based on the news report that we read and we will listen to a news report, sorry, a weather report. Now, first one, let's read three news reports altogether. Now, before we start, um, I want to show you, this is what a normal newspaper looks like, okay? But in newspaper, there's a title and there's the, um, an article. Now, this title is called headline okay so this is the headline the title of articles in newspaper is called a headline and the one down there is called the article or the report okay that's it Now these three things are the headline. Okay, so we have three headlines here. Okay, the first one is unlucky students spend night in classroom. Okay, so they didn't go home, they spend their night there at school. Second one, local girls photo success. Local means opposite of international. Local means tempatan. Okay, and the last one, schools close as blizzards continue. Okay, do you still remember what blizzards are? Kita dah belajar itu blizzards. Right, now we're going to read newspaper articles. There are three of them to all together. I'm just going to go very quickly so you don't have to listen to super long video. Okay, first one, students and teachers at Grange Secondary School in the village of Hepworth near Dundee, so this is the name of a place, were unable to get home last night. Unable means cannot. So they can't get home last night because heavy snow was blocking the roads. Right, so they cannot go. We had to sleep on the floor. It wasn't very comfortable, said 13-year-old Jamie Banks. But it wasn't all bad. The teachers let us play games on the school computers, Jamie added. So they don't go home, they had to sleep in the classroom, but the teachers let them play computer games. Right? Next. I see conditions were still causing problems all over the country today. I see comes from the word ice. Conditions means keadaan, so keadaan tu berice. Okay? All over the country. Country means negara. Okay. However, in the north of England, north means utara. Okay, so in the north of England, some students were celebrating when their school was closed because of the bad weather. Okay, so some students are very happy. This is actually very bad. They not everywhere it is very icy, but the students are happy. Why? Because the school was closed. This is great. Now I can go and play snowballs with my friends, said Jessica Watson, a year eight student from Durham. Okay, that's the second one. Now the third one. A student from Mortimer School, Coventry, has come first in a national photography competition. 14-year-old Lucy Preston used her mobile phone to take her winning photo of a frozen lake in winter. Okay, so that's one girl who is a 14-year-old, his name is Lucy, she take a picture. So this picture wins something, okay, a winning photo. She takes a picture of a frozen lake and then she won this photography competition. What is she going to do with her 500 pound prize? Okay, so she won 500 pounds, what is she going to do? I'm going to use it to buy a camera, she laughed. 
Okay, so because she doesn't have a camera, she have a mobile phone, she wants to use the money to buy a camera. Okay, so those are the three articles. Let's move to exercise one. This is something very simple. Look at the instruction. Match the headlines with newspaper articles one, two, three. Okay, so if you have noticed, there is a number here actually. You see there's number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so these are the titles. We have three titles, unlucky students, spend night in classroom, local girls photo success, and schools close as dessert. Continue. Okay, so what this exercise wants you to do is you have to match the headlines. But then can the headlines or the titles. Okay, for example, the first one, the first article is this one, right? Okay, this one. Okay, so which one do you think is the correct title for the news? Right, for example, this one talks about uh, students unable to get home. Okay, why? Because of a heavy snow. Okay, so they cannot go home and then they had to sleep on the floor. Okay, so which one of these three titles fit this one the most? Pauling says why? Which one? For example, if um, the answer is local girls photo success, then you just write down the answer. This is not the correct answer. This is just an example. Okay, contoh je teacher bagi. Okay, so you write down article 1, 2, and 3. And then you write down the headline. The title yang mana paling sesuai. Okay, so the key is, the clue is to look for words that mean the same thing. Okay, perkataan yang almost the same meaning. Like this one just now, unable to get home last night. So which one in the title has something about not being able to go home and sleep at home? Okay, so just write down. Go one, you might not go two, and then go three. That's it. Next, we have exercise two. Okay, so the instruction says, read the articles and answer the questions. Who? Okay, this one very easy. The question asks, who? Right. So the answers here, number one to number five, is the name of the person who says or does this. Okay. So in the three um, articles just now, there are names of the students, names of a girl or boy. Right. So you have to write down their names. That's it. Okay. Number one. Who said he? Okay, the other clue here. He, a guy. Who said he had fun in a difficult situation? Okay, orang tengah susah, but he had fun. Okay, who is it? Number two, who won something? Won is the past tense of win. So somebody win something. Who is it? Number three, felt happy when she heard some news. Okay, so she heard something. What is it? Who is it? Okay, number four, who plans to spend some money? Okay, who plans to buy something? All right, and the last one, who didn't expect to have a holiday? Didn't expect, expect means um, jangka. So, dia tak jangka that he or she will have a holiday. So, which one? So, write down the answer. Here, okay, if it's like Lucy, so just write down Lucy. Example, okay. The full name Lucy Apple. That's done. Next exercise four, you will be listening to a weather report, a laporan cuaca. Okay, check out right missing words and phrases one to seven in your notebook. Okay, see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blanks. So you listen and then fill in the blank.
Unit 3. Integrated Skills. In the news. Exercise 3. Today, it is very cold in Scotland, the north and south of England, and in Wales. Snow is falling and there is deep snow lying in some parts of the country. It is more than one and a half metres deep in some places. There are blizzards in the south of England. The heavy snow has made conditions on the roads very dangerous and many trains are not running. Some roads are blocked by snow while other roads are very icy. The police have asked people not to travel by car if their journey isn't important. Twenty people spent the night in a local sports centre when blizzards on the M25 motorway closed the road. The weather will get better tomorrow, but it will remain very cold until the weekend. Okay, so if you need to listen to it one more time, just replay the part and that's it because we just need to write down number one to number seven and write down what you heard. And that's all you have to do. So we have read the articles. So we have to do exercise one, two and three. Okay, that's it. Exercise one, you have to match headlines. I'm going to padankan title to the articles. That's it. And then exercise two, you have to give answers to five questions. The answers are the names. Okay, very simple. Just write down the names. And last one, we listen to a weather report. That's what we did just now. And then fill in the blanks. That's all for today. If you have any question, ask me in our Telegram group. Okay, or just comment below. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening.